Whether you're glamping or camping, cushions add that final touch, and you can actually make your own unique ones for next to nothing. So let's check in with Christian Dare. Thank you. All right, my friend, you always have great ideas. This time we're making our outdoor pillows, yep. and we're making them out of what? So these are actually sort of the classic zippered shopping bags. Love it. That have been around for years. I'm sure you all have them at home. Yes. You may have too many of them at home by now. Yeah, probably. Because we all <laughs> use reusable bags right now. So I wanted to figure out a way we could reuse them. Mm -hmm. And if you try to source outdoor waterproof cushions, especially for cushions, they're like 80, 90, 100 dollars, right? They are. That fabric. Yeah. Yes. These ones we're gonna make for under 20 dollars. Excellent. Right? They'll Very be a little easy. crunchy, but it's a gonna be crunchy. good for outdoors. Very outdoors, and it's gonna be instantly waterproof, right? You can just wipe yes. it right off. Amazing. So there's two ways to do it. Basically, I'm going to show you a beginner. Yes. And a slightly advanced. Not really. Okay. All right. What's so, the easy way first? Easy way first. So grab whatever bag you want. Uh-huh. You can this actually... This is a stylish looking one. I like it's it. It's a very stylish one. I picked it up at Ikea. Nice. Right? You can buy online... Oh, I have to touch through it. ...through Amazon bean oh. bag filler. Oh. So you don't want these suckers getting out you unless they're going right. You don't want these getting out. Right? <laughs> so are you pouring it in there? You're you pouring it in here. It okay. can be quite messy. Let me help. Oh, this is the fun Right? Part. It's fun though. Really easy. And if it gets too flat for you, you can always refill it. Yeah. That's probably good for now. Okay. With good the enough. magic of television, fill it all the way up. <laughs> da -da. Da -da. one. Amazing. Right? So it's got some nice cushion in it. You can definitely sit on it. One trick I did do with this guy is you can actually, you'll see, I removed the handle. Yeah. Right? So you can see there's a traditional handle. You can keep it off if you want to, if you want yeah. to maybe hang it up. Oh, but you can true, remove it off. Actually. And I actually just used a pair of tight scissors mm -hmm. and snipped it. So you just oh, snip the threads, it comes good. right off. Perfect. Easy. That's so super that's easy. the easy version. Okay, so we're done. done. That's good. Okay, so if we want to get all complex, yeah. what do we do? Traditional foam. Yeah. Where so, do you get that? So what's so funny is you can actually buy this at almost any craft store. Okay. This one, which is kind of funny, a friend of mine was changing out their old foam mattresses at the cottage. Oh. So I got this for free. You're like, can I have it, please? Free. Nice. So the second cushion was actually free because I had the bag at home and this Good. Home. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. A good amount to pay right? for this uh, DIY project. I like so that. So step one with foam. Yeah. Also very easy. This is how we're going to make our template. Put the bag on. Yeah. Do you want it to be a little smaller or do you not even care? Because you're going to shove it in. I would do the exact. You're going to shove it in. Okay. Actually, I would try and make it. <laughs> shove it in. Just shove it in. <laughs> I actually try and make it slightly bigger because oh, then it will be a nice okay. full cushion, right? That's smart. So the trick with cutting foam. Yeah, I is can't you wait to don't, see this. You don't want to use an old school exacto. It's not like thick no. enough to get in there. So since I know we all gave up carbs, not, <laughs> use a bread knife. Oh, this is a good, nice bread knife. I right? Like it. So the trick with a bread knife is you actually just slice it in one direction. Oh. And it will actually cut through. And you just keep going, obviously. And you just keep going. Okay, there's got Cutting to be something the very satisfying about that. Right? Does that feel good? It feels so good, right? Yeah, so you just cut all, all the way through. Nice. It makes a bit of a mess. Okay. Ta da! Excellent. That's good. Right? Very okay. easy. So now, so how the, easy or hard is this to shove it in? So the trick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to do this. If you fold it in half. Yeah. Okay. So then. Get in there. Get in there. Quite That's easy. Awesome. Oh, look at this. We See? have an outdoor cushion. We have an outdoor cushion. Now, is it okay? Is it all? Is it okay? Like, will any water go in through there? Some might go through the zipper. Yeah. So I'll show you actually a done one that's really. Full, oh, nice that's nice. Right? Oh, that's good. So it could actually be a footstool. And I left yeah. the handle on so you could actually hang it up on your deck to dry out yes. if you're worried about anything. That's a very good way to uh, to store it. Yeah. Okay, now if you wanted, you can get super fancy and do tufting. Yeah, if you want to tuft it. That's amazing. How very you, easy. What so are these? you get a tufting kit. Oh, who knew? Who knew? You can actually buy this on Amazon, okay. tufted buttons. Put the fabric on. Yeah. Put this guy on. You shove it in. Shove it in. There's a lot of shoving it in. in a lot of project. shoving it in, in this project. <laughs> oh. Stick the top on. This guy, you just push in. Wow. You can hammer it if you want to. Okay. And. And then you've got a button. Top button. <laughs> and so, are you 
you sewing that in? So you're just going to sew it through. I just used a large needle and some fishing line. Yeah. And you just sew it right through and tie it to another button on the back. Oh, that's how you, and you just tuft. tuft it. Yeah. Okay, very easy, interesting. Easy. Amazing project as always. Cityline.tv for Christian's projects.